They would be unbelievably fly that when you looked at them, you didn't know if they were a boat shoe or, or a plain sneaker. You believe that sneakers are a window to the soul. If you put enough of yourself into a design, it's gonna hit. Once I slip on that sneaker, it's my story. In the movie, uh, your character can pretty much tell what a person is like based on their sneakers because it's express yourself. You know, the whole thing is express yourself through your sneakers. So for you, what would your sneakers say about you? Or what would you have on your sneakers and what would that say about you? Man, well, for me, I'm an I'm a avid Air Force wearer. Uh, so I think my Air Forces, I have like my, I keep a couple pairs because if you wear Air Force, you know, you, you have to keep, you have your clean pair, but then you also have a pair that like you wear to do like, you know, like your dirty jobs. Like, oh, I'm going to go here and I, I don't want to wear my new crisp Air Forces. So you kind of will get a different uh, taste of what I'm, I'm about to do or where I'm headed based off of which Air Force I'm wearing, whether it be my lows, my mids, my highs, or if I pull out, you know, my favorite, the Shibuyas, I, you know, so I think you get a little bit of a glance of of my taste and my style. And uh, I think that's the beauty of a shoe. Uh, what would be on my sneakers? Gosh, I would say <sighs> butterflies, number one. I love butterflies. I actually have a butterfly tattoo. Oh, nice. uh, I'm obsessed with butterflies. So I would say like butterflies um, along the soul. And then maybe like some form of evil eye or like a scripture or something where, you know, I can look down and be like I'm protected or you know if something happens I can like be like hey like I know I'm good I'm straight uh so definitely like a cool like blue type of design with like evil eyes and butterflies all around those are two of my favorite things I would express myself by one um not having leather or I would have vegan leather because I'm a vegan I would have no glue from an animal I would have synthetic glue they would be unbelievably fly that when you looked at them, you didn't know if they were a boat shoe or, or, or a plain sneaker. I, a company I'm working with now that's very close to it, not going to mention their name, but you know, I, I would definitely have a shoe that you can wear uh, if you're going to do some sporting activity and if you're going to sit around and have it on at the Met Gala. I remember my generation was Vans. For us, it was the Vans growing up in the <laughs> 80s. I'm not even going to tell you what my generation was. <laughs> Bell bottoms, maybe. Maybe. And 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 yeah, how high how high were my 1970s uh, platform shoes? That was oh, yeah. See, there it. that was a big deal there too, and the, yeah. the hair, everything, the styles. <laughs> it's funny how things have changed every generation, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Except for the fairy tale. The fairy tale is so beloved. That's right. I mean, you know that maintains a kind of a, a timelessness, right? The 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 fact that you know fairy tales. Are I think born out of an idea that that we can still dream and we can still attain our goals if we don't if if we don't give up on our dreams. And in fairy tales, you know, something sort of usually happens that is beyond anyone's control, and suddenly the world changes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a that's just a great a great kind of uh, theme for for our movie.